One of the things that I think new moms are grappling with these days is this kind of burden <laughs> to be a good mother. Um, there is this pressure, you know, how, how can I live up to my mother or how can I be different from my mother? How do I be a good mother? What is it? I need to be the greatest mother. It's this pressure to be, to be perfect. And um, I think what this play presents so beautifully is that all these mothers love their babies and they're good mothers, but they're all doing very different things. So I think the biggest conflict facing mothers today is focus. I feel sometimes that I'm pulled in many different directions and I don't always know what the right answer is for my family. I want to work, I want my children to know that I work and that I have a life outside of them, that I'm intelligent and capable and all these things, but on the other hand there's a lot of um, conflict within myself about how much time I need to spend with them, for them to feel secure and loved and comforted. And there's a lot of judgment around that. I think every mom is different. Uh, and I think the challenges that moms go through, whether you're a migrant mom trying to cross a border with your children, or whether you're somebody like Adrienne who's at the top of her profession um, and is still trying to cobble together a life at home, um, all of these challenges are intensely physical, they're psychological, uh, and they're social. And, and I think um, what I hear from moms most is they feel like they're being torn in a bunch of different directions. The constant information via social media or via news, you're already built to be a protector and to worry. You're gonna worry forever now. But with all of the extra information, it adds so much more anxiety. So for new moms, I guess, tune that out.